Hey everyone, I hope you're having a really good day. Today I'm going to film kind of like get ready with me style video, um, but it's going to have a bit of a twist because I'm going to be trying out some new products today. Um, not everything's new, but uh, there's the odd few thing that um, is either fairly new to me or is brand new and that I've never tried before. Because yesterday I went to Harvey Nichols to pick up a couple things from the Fenty Beauty collection. I didn't get like everything, I only got two things, um, pr like, what am I trying to say? I only got two things purely because um, not everything in the collection I would probably use on a day to day basis. Um, I didn't get any of the cream contour sticks but I will probably pick them up at some point. Um, cream contouring I don't do that often but if I had the right product then I would do it a lot more. But yeah I only picked up two products today, um, yesterday even. And that's the foundation and a highlight. And I didn't get Trophy Wife just because I know it would look like absolute trash on my skin tone. But anyone that's got a deeper skin tone than me, um, I've looked at quite a few videos and a few people around the store were wearing it that had a lot darker skin tones. And it looked amazing on them. But I know on me it just would look like a gold mess. So um, I bought the um, Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And I also bought the um, Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo and I got the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Um, they had another one, um, I know one of them is called like Hustler Baby, I can't remember what the other one is. Um, and that looked really nice but this one is a little bit um, probably more suited towards paler skin tone so I picked that one up. Uh, the foundation shade that I bought is uh, 180 and it might be a little bit dark for me at the minute. Um, when they shade matched me, the first they shade matched me to 170, which was completely off because it was like really, really pink. And I know my skin tone is more, um, not so much my face, but my neck is quite yellow undertoned. So they shade matched me to a colour that was like pretty off. Um, the colour was alright, but again, the undertone was just way too pink. And this one, I'd say, is about a shade darker than my current skin tone. Um, the reason I uh, got a shade that was a bit darker was because I'm going on holiday at the end of the month and I want this to be able to suit me as well once I'm a bit more tanned. And I do um, hear that they dry down to an even darker colour. So we're just going to see how it goes today. It might look um, completely off, but when I get it tanned I know the shade would probably be perfect. Um, the foundation retails for £26, which isn't that bad of a price to be honest. It's about the same kind of price as like MAC or Essay Lauder, that kind of price range, um, which I think she could have priced it up way, way more expensive. Um, it's about the price range, like I said, of like high-end makeup, not so much luxury makeup, but I know she could have probably priced this up way more because obviously it's Rihanna, so she can do what she wants. But um, I think it's quite good that she, um, she priced it at a reasonable price. And the highlighter also is £26, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it's £26. Um, you get two different shades in there. I'll show you this once I've got to highlighting, but I'm just going to prime my face beforehand. I know she's bought out a primer, but again, I didn't pick that up just because, you know, I know what primer suits my skin best and what works on my skin type the best. Um, but I might pick it up. I've heard some really good reviews about it, but for now, I'm just going to prime my, um, well, prime my face like I usually would. So I'm going to go with a little bit of the Pore Professional by Benefit and just stick this in my T-zone. I'm not going to go crazy with this because it's a matte foundation, so I don't want to go for like an ultra matte primer. I'm just going to put this on my T-zone and this is where I get the oiliest and my pores are most visible. But yeah, I definitely want to go back and pick some more stuff up, but I thought I'll start off with a couple bits, see how I get on with them. And um, if I enjoy them, I want to pick up those, that like cream contour highlight um, trio. And also the powder looks quite nice as well, but for now I'm just going with the foundation and a highlight because they're really like my two main products. And I think for the rest of my face, I've moisturised before I filmed this, um, so my skin is quite moistured. It's quite moisturised. I don't know what I was trying to say there. But I'm going to go in with a bit... Well, that didn't work out very well, did it? But I'm going to go with a bit of the Too Faced Hangover Primer, just because this is like my um, kind of routine that I've been doing before I apply my foundation. So I'm not going to change up um, 
my priming routine. I'm going to give it a fair shot. We're all primed. I'm going to go in the foundation. It says to shake well. I'm going to give it a good shake. But um, I queued yesterday for two hours. Two hours, because Harvey Nichols is the only place in the UK that sells Fenty Beauty. And uh, obviously, well, I went on a Saturday and it was just rah. Two hours I queued. So if this doesn't work, I'm going to be so annoyed. But um, I don't know how much to start off with at first. I think I'm just going to go in with... Um, oh, it's quite runny. Um, that was about probably just a pump. So you start off with that and then build it up. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one side of my face with a brush, one side with a sponge. But um, I didn't pick up, I know she's bought out a foundation brush and a sponge, but um, I didn't pick that up because I didn't really feel like it was necessary. But I've heard good things about it, so if you are on the market for a new sponge or a foundation brush, then maybe check that one out. Um, I also heard that it dries quite quickly, so I think I'm just gonna leave it at that and I'm gonna go in with my sponge, wherever it is. Oh god, I need to clip my fringe out of the way. I always do this, I start to film with like my hair on my face and then it's just like really, really annoying. But, um, right, I'm just gonna go in with my Real Techniques um, sponge and just start to pounce that in. And that was about, um, about three quarters of the first pump that I just put on my face. Ooh. It's very easy to blend out with the sponge, I have to say. Um, so far the colour match looks okay, to be fair, but it does oxidise, I've heard, so... Oh my god, I just blended over my eyebrows again that I haven't worn already. But yeah, I thought I'd do my eyebrows today beforehand just to save some time. It's proving quite difficult. I'm going to blend that little bit down my neck. So that's the... Wow. That's the difference between the size of my face. Obviously this has no foundation on at all. And this side has about three quarters of a pump on. So I think, to be fair, that's given me really good coverage. And the finish of it, I'll get a bit, I'll get a bit closer. A bit up close and personal. Um, if you can see, if my camera's picking up, the finish is... It's definitely matte, but it's not like like the Maybelline Fit Me Matte or the L'Oreal, um, what, what's that one called? Pro Finish? Pro something? But the matte L'Oreal one, you know what I'm talking about. Where that's like uber matte and it looks like your skin's just like plastic. Whereas this, it's matte and it feels, it doesn't feel like sticky. It feels almost like I've got powder on already. But it's definitely a really, really nice finish. I like it. Um, it hasn't like accentuated any of my pores um, or any of my lines around my eyes, not that I have that many anyway. But yeah, I think, and the match, now that it's dried down a bit, it's a little bit dark, but it's not awful. Um, I could probably get away with this now. And yeah, I really like it so far. So I'm going to apply the foundation this side with a brush. I'm just going to pump a little bit more on because I don't have like a full pump. So I'm just going to pump a bit more so there's like an even pump on each side. And this side, as you can see, I've got a lot more blemishes on at the moment. So this will be a true test to um, see. Oh yeah, I can tell with the foundation that's like freshly pumped. And then that's been on my hand for a while and it has oxidised a little bit darker. But nothing too crazy. So I'm just going to do the same thing, just kind of dot it around my face. My fringe again is in my way. Hang on. Let me pin that side out of the way as well. Right, that's that. Um, right, and I'm going to go in with the Morphe M439. I don't often use a brush for my foundation, but if I do, then I will um, definitely use this one. Um, I think I prefer how it applied with a sponge, to be honest. It's not bad with a brush, but I feel like it looks a lot more matte with the brush. Yeah, I'm just going to carry on blending it in with my sponge. But 
if you had oily skin, I think using a brush with it with it would be alright. But because it's quite a matte formula, um, I think the wetness of a sponge just blends it in a lot nicer. But again, so far, it's covered up everything pretty well. But um, there's still a little bit of redness and like pigmentation around where my massive spot was, but. I'm not surprised because that was absolutely huge. I'm just going to apply a little bit more because it's a bit uneven on my forehead. So I think overall I've used about two and a half pumps maybe, which isn't bad. Usually I'll go in with like an extra pump if I feel like my skin needs it anyway. So not too bad and it's quite hard to go between my eyebrows it looks a little bit cakey around here it's just because i'm trying to avoid the eyebrow area but um usually i would just blend like straight over so if it looks cakey then i don't think it's the foundation i think it's just because i can't blend it in as well around my eyebrows i think i'm just going to come close up i think it's done a pretty good job covering everything if i didn't have big blemishes at the minute, I think this would be like a perfect amount of coverage. Um, it's definitely medium to full. Once I build it up, um, once I build it up with a little bit more of the foundation, it's definitely more now of a full coverage. But I still feel like it's very lightweight. I don't feel like I've got like a mask of matte foundation on my skin, which is good because I feel like you could wear it in the daytime as well. But what I'm gonna do is just go on with a bit of concealer. Um, oh, I don't know if I said, by the way, you get, um, how much? You get 32 millilitres of product, which is like two millilitres more of, um, like standard foundations. But, um, so that's pretty good. And I think because I only use about two and a half pounds, it would last quite well. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. The concealer I'm going to try it with is the Collection Lasting Perfection one. And not all concealers and foundations mix well together. So if... This looks cakey. <coughs> oh, sorry. If this looks cakey, then I'll try it next time with like more of a um, runny one because this concealer is quite thick. I'm gonna add just I think the tiniest amount of powder, just maybe just around my eyes to stop any creasing. But, um, I'm not going to bake or anything like that because it really doesn't need it. But I'm just going to go over the RCMA No Colour Powder. I'm just going to dust the smallest amount as well just in the centre of my forehead. Even though I'm quite cakey around there because my skin's really dry at the minute. Um, I know it will get oilier throughout the day. It's quite like a soft look today. I don't want anything crazy because it's a Sunday and I can't be bothered really. Right. Now that I've bronzed up my face a wee bit, I'm going to go in with some blush and the blush that I'm going to use is the Essence Matte Touch Blush in the shade Peach Me Up. Again, one of my favourites. And I'm just going to go in with a stippling brush so I don't want to be really blush today. Just apply this to the apples of my cheeky little squats. The highlight, obviously, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty one that I bought. Um, again, it's in the shades Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Um, I love the packaging of this. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's an octagon. I had to really think then. And um, once you open it up, which if you've got nails on, it's quite a challenge to open. But um, it just comes with like quite a nice sized mirror and the two shades there. So I think. One of them is a lot more um, subtle than the other, and it's got uh, like the FB Fenty Beauty engraved in the powders as well. So I'm going to swatch this one, and I haven't even swatched these yet, so. And that's what Lightning Dust. Um, put that one there. So that one's Lightning Dust. I don't know if you can see that very well. But it's quite a 
Okay. It's quite a subtle highlight, but it's still definitely a highlight. I know some of them, um, there was a lot of talk saying that they're quite matte, some of the highlights, that there's not much glow to it. But that one would be quite nice in the day. And then the other one, which is more of like a blinding highlight, is called a Fire Crystal. And wow, that I can already tell is going to be a lot more blinding. Yeah, so then that one's Fire Crystal that I just stick on, um, stuck on that side. And as you can see, if my camera focuses, um, it's a lot more blinding. Uh, this will be really nice in like the evening, and this I think would be a really nice daytime highlight, but today I think I'm going to go in first with a bit of Lightning Dust, which is the more subtle one. I'm going with that, get my hair out of the way. Um, there's definitely a glow there, but it's nothing crazy. So if you're someone that likes a subtle highlight, then I think this would be really, really good for you. But I like quite a blinding one, no matter what time of the day it is. So yeah, so that's what um, lightning dust looks like. So again, it's quite subtle, but there's definitely a glow there. I'm just gonna run some of that down my nose. And now I'm gonna go in with a bit of fire crystal, which is more of a blinding one. Oh, that is where it's at. That is beautiful. Right, that's crazy pigmented. Oh, and the light's just gone right down. Oh, my McDonald's is here. Right, I might have to go, I'll finish this and then I'll go eat my McDonald's. That's how lazy I am. So that is what fire crystal looks like on the cheeks. I'm just going to put a little bit of that down the bridge of my nose as well. And on a cubist bow, I'm going to put my chin too. And that is amazing. I don't know, my camera doesn't pick up highlight very well at all. But that is stunning. Just absolutely stunning. It's very like, um, it's quite light, I feel like, with my skin. I can just about get away with it. Um, but I feel like if you're quite dark, it might still look really lovely. Obviously, I don't. I don't know because I've got a very light skin tone. But I feel like if you're my skin tone or paler. Yeah, that's what fire crystal looks like, and it's definitely more of a blinding glow than um, lightning dust but it's still it's not like you know some highlights are quite like sparkly like I know trophy wife is quite a sparkly highlight this isn't so much sparkly as more it's just like a nice glow now I don't know how well you will be able to see it on camera if I can I'll try and um, insert some pictures of it um, or just look it up online just because my camera doesn't pick up um, highlight that well but I've just uh, fixed up my brows a little bit as well, and I just ate my McDonald's. So I've got, got my banana milkshake here. Which is delicious. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of eyeshadow. Again, like I said, I'm not going to go for anything crazy, but I want a bit of something there. So I literally think I'm just going to go in with a bit of my Hoola bronzer. On just like a big blending brush and I'm just going to run that through my crease I think I'm going to put a bit of lightning dust all over the lid and then a bit of fire crystal in the um, in the corners if I can get it open I don't know if I said before that, but the packaging is white but when you kind of like when it hits the light it kind of reflects like I don't know it's just a bit there's something different to it, I think, rather than just being white. But that could just be my eyes, I don't even know. But yeah, like I said, I'm just going to go in with a tad bit of, if I can find a brush to use. Um, I just going to use my finger, I think, actually, because this nail has come off my pinky finger, so I can use my fingers. So yeah, I think I'm going to go, oh, let me speak. I'm going to go in with a bit of lightning dust and just plop that all over the lids 
just so there's like a bit of something there but nothing too crazy but yeah like i said before if you're someone that's into subtle highlights this the lightning dust shade might actually be really nice for you but i like something that's a little bit more more glowy um, and then i'm going to take a little bit of uh fire crystal yeah in the inner corners again just with my pinky finger but i'm just going to add on a little bit of winged eyeliner nothing crazy i'm just going to give my eyelashes a curl the essence lip liner in the shade in the nude and I'm just going to line my lips and then for lipstick I'm going to go in with um, this MAC matte lipstick this is one of the like ones from the Nicki Minaj range but not like the limited edition packaging ones um, it's in the shade Yash Yash and it's just like a very nice nudie brown colour um, I'm just going to whack that on straight from the bullet like I said, I might check in, or I'll probably just actually leave a little description on the screen um, how my foundation lasted throughout the day. So I thought I'd check in of how the foundation has worn. Um, it's very late, it's just gone midnight. Um, I just got back from like a Kanye West um, orchestral reproduction of one of his albums. So I've been in a club, boogieing, um, and I've had this foundation on for just over two hours now. And I don't know if you can see, I will place it this way so you can see in the mirror better. But, is that focused? It has lasted on my skin so well, and it's not like ridiculously oily or shiny anywhere. It's definitely got oilier, um, it's not as matte as it was obviously when I first put it on, but for a foundation that has been on my face for 12 hours and it's lasted through my dancing in a club, um, for like two hours I think it's held up like amazingly better than any other foundation I've ever tried usually after about seven hours the foundation will melt down around my t-zone while I'm most oily but it stayed intact and it doesn't feel oily um, it still feels quite dry so I'm very very impressed it literally looks like I've just got like a fresh face of makeup on not that I've had this makeup on for like 12 hours and the highlighter as well even though my camera won't pick it up it's still very there if you get me um, it hasn't faded, it's faded a little bit but usually a highlighter would fade quite quickly but this one stayed on really really well so I think it's a mix of the foundation and the highlighter itself that has um, been really long lasting so I'm very impressed with this foundation probably going to be my go-to foundation from now on so if you're thinking about buying it definitely do it because this is amazing me but so far it's been on my face for probably about 45 minutes maybe even an hour now and um so far it's looking very flawless um you can definitely tell i've got foundation on my face but it's not like a mask of matte foundation um like some foundation i've tried <coughs> right I need some banana milkshake because my throat is just doing my nut in. Like I was saying, from matte foundation, it's not super dry. It doesn't feel heavy on my face at all. Uh, I feel like I've got a product on my face, but it's not uncomfortable and it's not. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a big mask. And the colour, now that it's like completely dried down, it's not too bad. It is about a shade darker than what my skin is at the minute. But um, I don't actually think it's that bad now that I like concealer and the rest of my makeup on um so yeah that's all i have to say for today um look out for some different fenty beauty videos um i'll, I'll i think i'm gonna order some now because i want another highlighter and i want those cream six so subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this um i also do like hauls and i'm gonna do some fashion videos soon um now that it's london fashion week i'm gonna start getting involved with that i think um but yeah if you want to see more fenty or just not even fenty beauty want to see like any first impressions of makeup comment down below what you'd like to see and i might purchase and try it out for you guys 
Um, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, completely up to you. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you have a really good week, or weekend. It's Sunday, so have a good week. <laughs> Bye guys.